Here are the questions. Please take a moment to read them over. All right, so when Thomas Jefferson purchased Louisiana in 1803, he bought over almost a million square miles of land, but nobody other than the Native Americans who lived there knew what was on it. Uh, naturally, Jefferson wanted to explore this new territory in order to figure out what he had just purchased. And he wanted the people who would explore this territory to create maps, establish friendly relations with the Indians in the territory, and also to consider possibilities for future settlement, basically to scope out new sites where Americans could settle and flourish. Jefferson selects uh, his top assistant, Meriwether Lewis, to lead and organize the expedition. And Lewis was highly qualified for the job because he was both very well educated and knew a lot about science and nature, but he was also a skilled soldier and woodsman. Uh, Lewis in turn selected his old army buddy, William Clark, who was an officer, to help him lead the expedition. Um, and he picked William Clark because he was good with a gun, but he was also a skilled map maker and a good river pilot. Uh, which would be crucial as they explored the West. And their mission was basically to travel all the way across the continent until they reached the Pacific Ocean and to record and send back as much information as possible. The expedition they went on uh, was really quite incredible. They were gone for two and a half years from 1804 to 1806, and they covered thousands of miles of until then unexplored terrain. They traveled up the Missouri River, over the Rocky Mountains, all the way to the Pacific Ocean, and then back again. Uh, this route led them through the territories of dozens of Native American tribes, some of which were friendly, others of which were hostile. And amazingly enough, Lewis and Clark and a good number of their men made it back alive. As already mentioned, one of the main objectives of the Lewis and Clark expedition was to establish friendly relations with the Native American tribes. Uh, this was important because by establishing friendly relations, it would open the way for future explorers and settlers um, to further check out the West. Um, and so how they approached this was anytime they met a new Native American tribe, Lewis and Clark would uh, basically present themselves peacefully before the Indians and also offer them gifts. Um, one gift that they were actually required by Thomas Jefferson to present all the Native American chiefs was a friendship medal, which you can see pictured there. And it shows a uh, Native American hand and a white person's hand shaking with the words peace and friendship uh, on it. And so they argued with the chiefs that uh, basically, Americans were friendly, and all they wanted to do was trade with the Native Americans, and they would bring good stuff uh, to trade with them. Uh, this, of course, is not entirely true, because deep down, what America really wanted was the land that the Native Americans lived on. But anyway, uh, so even though what they argued with the chiefs was not necessarily true, um, they still won over a lot of Native Americans to be friendly with them and future Americans. And this is really important because without the help of the Native Americans, Lewis and Clark would have probably never made it uh, on their journey. And this is especially true because of the help they received from one Native American woman named Sacagawea, who joined the party about halfway through and served as their interpreter and guide. The Lewis and Clark expedition is more or less a total success. Lewis and Clark and most of the men make it back safely, having explored thousands of miles of new terrain and discovered many new species of plants and animals. On top of this, they managed to establish fr friendly relations with many Native American tribes. They cleared the way for further exploration and settlement. They also helped to secure America's claim to the Pacific coast which would allow America to claim that territory. Uh, and they also set up a lot of new maps of the American West, which 
future pioneers would use as they spread west to claim more territory. Well, that's it for the Lewis and Clark uh, expedition. Here are a couple of questions. Make sure you know the answers to these for tomorrow's class.